to the chip. This should be one heck of a ride. Hopeful destination. Colonial life arena. The stage where champions are crowned. Where fish looks and rampant passion is plenty. Getting everyone involved with the winning. The goal is simple. The goal is simple. Fight harder than the next man. Truth be told, the real ones know. It takes everything you got to gain my respect in the world of win. The complete package is needed. Expectations exceeded. You need it. You need family. Authentically loving family. Ones that will cry with you when you down. And celebrate with you when you up. While always giving glory to Almighty OG. Without him, nothing is possible. Let's get this thing popping now. Welcome to Wayne's World. I see Floyd versus Wilson High School. Let's jump straight into the action. From the gate. AC's floor's guard, Nazir Boyce, made his presence known early with two strong limbs around the basket. And doing it from the perimeter, star guard DJ Sinkler hit two threes to insert himself early as well. But bringing their early party to an end, 4A player of the year, Alex Caldwell added this in when finishing the lane. But follow was a nice hesitation move from Zach Folks, allowing him to finish elegantly around the rim. Only to be responded by Wilson's Allen Williamson with the layup of his own, which made it only right Folks to respond with another answer of his own. But heating up out of nowhere, Gas Fam CEO Maine Gibson hit three threes to shift the momentum back in the Tigers' favor. Sending them into halftime up by one. And starting the second half similar to the first, the battle between Maine and Folks continues. As Gibson completed this four point play, one that was followed by a triple from Folks on the other end. And re entering the conversation, Caldwell added two more buckets around the hoop, only to be brilliantly played on the next drive, giving AC Floyd an easy run-out basket in transition. But coming up in the clutch was Darius Rose with this drive, putting Wilson up three with the minute and 13 left in the contest. And coming up clutch as well, folks hit a smooth three from the corner to tie the game at 40 yards. But having Damian Lillard type confidence, Cotwell took and made the biggest shot of his high school career, giving Wilson a 42 to 40 victory over AC Floyd, sending them to play in the state championship game against Ramsey. Congratulations, Wilson. Good season, AC.
You already know, bro. We about to put it in work, man. We ain't playing no Straight game. Straight does, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch out with them two, man. You know? Long live be more, man. They doubted us, man. Had us at number seven in 4A. Beat the number two team, number three team in South Acre. Now we're here. Glory out there. No more doubters. As a family, here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God is kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's get this money. Let's go! On the beginning! The primetime matchup. Ridgeview High School versus Wilson. This is definitely going to be one for the ages. Let's get right into it. Picking up where he left off? This is Alex Caldwell set the tone with this disrespectful pull up three. And adding to the charge, guard Allen Williamson drove the lane to finish through the contact on this play. The Tigers were lit early as Caldwell added another basket, challenging 6 11 off of Wilson and the paint for two. While also dishing it inside to his big man Ryan Carfleet for this score. But coming back with vengeance, Malcolm caught a nasty pick back slam, only to be followed by another takeover type jumper from Caldwell in transition. And responding accordingly, Leland Napier added a jumper of his own with this feed from Crosby James. But coming out of nowhere, Jamonte Williams threw down a nasty putback of his own, inspiring his front court mate, Ryan Crawford, to sacrifice his body on this play. The Tigers were on the road, they practically looked unstoppable. But taking it personal, Javon Anderson hit this tiny three in the corner, a three that inspired some tough defense from the centerpiece Malcolm Wilson. She led to a layup from Crosby James. But adding another layup of his own, superstar Alex Caldwell finished through contact to hit this one in the lane. And ending the half correctly, both teams finished nicely in the lane. Wilson with that dunk, Maine with this floater, and Anderson with another floater of his own. Sending got to halftime with the Tigers leading 34 to 32. Get it to Anderson, right? Mm -hmm. Pat, you're gonna step up and set the screen, right? I want Waylon to sit down in the post. Sit down in the post. That's our first look. That is our first look. What's our first look, Anderson? Post. Post. Posting him up. Yeah. Once you go to it, and then you'll come off of that single screen. All right, I don't want people down here with Waylon. 
All right, if it does go to the top, no different. Anderson down screen and come back out. Everything's the same, we'll go right into camp. All right, hey, 16 minutes. 16 minutes. Hey, That's and it. if it needs to be another uh, three more minutes, we there. Yeah, All right, we dogs, right? Yes, sir. Let's be dogs. Hey, 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 number 32 got that put back because we did not box out. We need right. to box out. Let's, box. Let's go. We good? Yes, sir. All right, get up shots if you can. Starting the second half off strong, Waylon finished with ease around the ground for this back. They can get only right to assist his teammate Patrick Jenkins on this play. While taking the charge on the next. Making it only right that Malcolm Wilson get in on his defensive party. Giving way for a nice Crosby James Lane transition. Which led to a smooth Anderson three on the wing. The Blazers looking like they could not be stopped. Doing what superstars do. Caldwell hit a timely three to stop the bleeding. And responding like a Wayne's Rug and EP Shell. Bailey hit a three of his own at the top of the key. Making it only right that Caldwell showed his Jordan like step back to this jumper. He was in the tail all night. His jumper sparked the quick run for the Tigers. Regards Darius Rhodes and Man Gibson added two threes to the charge. Man, the team seemed like they wanted to miss. With Anderson responding with another three on the wing. Taking it back to the paint. Crosby James finished strong through contact with his game on leg. Inspiring his backcourt made that, but to try to lay on this side as well. And showing no let up. Carwell scored again on this play. Making it 70 to 67 with only a minute and some change left in the game. Coming up clutch from the line. Brennan Bynum hit both of his free throws to extend the lead. This was Alex's time to shine. And shine he did, as he came up extremely clutch with this cold-blooded three. There was no question about his heart after his game. Going to the line to seal the deal. Crosby only hit one of two. A chance to be a hero once again. Dribbling side to side, elevating, shooting. And it's an overshoot by a few inches. Making really few blazes for a 2017-2018 state champions. Congratulations, y'all.
Congratulations. I can't do this on my own. Hey, no. Some more watching it. I'm trying not to get emotional because uh, y'all don't know my story. You truly don't know my story. Y'all, uh. Yeah, coach. I've had trouble times. Uh, two years ago, I was fired as a basketball coach somewhere. Uh, and it's because I served the Army, I served our country. That's the reason why they fired me. But I came to a community that loves the military. I just love being part of the team. And the military brings so much out of me to be part of a team, to know what, what happens. Uh, 2010, September 15th, I saw somebody get killed in war. And it's not, it's not fun, but you know, y'all keep me from stopping thinking about those days. I appreciate you. I love all of you. Uh, you know, if it ain't for a team, we don't have, in family, we don't have nothing in life. Right. Nothing. Amen. I understand that. If you don't have each other, you walk around by yourself, you don't have nothing. I know now, regardless where I go in life, I've got 15 guys and my coaching staff that will fight for me. That's right. All right. Yes, sir, and I want you to know that I'm going to do that for you, regardless where you go. Where's my Shout out to my dog, Wayne's World, man. Hey, Wayne's World. We appreciate you, man. Hey, where's my hoodie? Where's we my do hoodie? this. Hey, we do this. Hey, Wayne's World hey. is the only way. Hey, hey, hey. History that we just made tonight, yeah, man. Ain't hey, nobody believed in us, but we got that ring, bro. Hey, number seven, bro. Hey, 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 number seven, and then we finished hey, on top. It number took seven, seven years. We on top. It took go. seven years. We were doubted. They had teams ahead of us. Number 17 coming in. 10 and 0. Being number one team, we just had a 10 and 0 streak. And we just want to stay challenged. Yeah, we ain't losing, right. baby. Yo, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you like the episode, hit the like and subscribe and share and do whatever you can to get this episode some pub, man. I'm putting some hard work into it. About to graduate college, so you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for some contract work or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Throw something my way. I'm with it. I'm here. Holla at me. But yeah, man, it was a blast. Shout out to Ridgeview High School, the whole coaching staff, man. You guys are absolute monsters at your craft and knowing how to nurture players, build family, atmospheres, and environments, man. I commend you. Great job, man. But yo, I'm doing something different this year. I have a Wayne's World MVP prize that I'm giving out um, and an all Wayne's World team. So I need you guys help picking those people. I already have the team pretty much made up, but the MVP, we're gonna have a vote. Yes, I said it, a vote, man. So, put down below, it's out of this game, because I'm gonna pick the champion, or the person that was in the championship game. Nobody else deserves it. So, either put Alex, Waylon, Juice, Crosby, uh -huh, Maine, any of those players that you believe are the Wayne's World MVP for 2017-2018, Put their name below, and most will get the Wayne's World MVP mixtape along with um, the All Wayne's World team. 
Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this um, in the couple in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, man, I love you guys. You already know we got any anything is possible. I'm a living testament to that, man. I'm really a nobody without just my, put my trust in somebody. And he's turned me up to another level. I'm unstoppable in him. You cannot stop me. I don't care what you try to do. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna continue to push towards the mark, man. Encouraging the youth, man. Because anything you set your mind to, young boy, young queen, anything you set your mind to is possible. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, I'm 5'2", but my hammer is straight in here, man. I got the heart of a lion because God already defeated everything in this world, man. He created it, and when I put my trust in him, learn about him, get in his word, pray to him, and talk to him, and he gives me confirmation of what I'm doing is right, man. Listen, listen, my guy, my girl, it's over for the world. It's over. I'm coming, man. Love y'all. Peace. Love it up.